아, 타율이 무시무시하구나. Baseball from the Big Apple. We're at Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. It's a custom league battle between the New York Yankees. 네, 고백 따라고 하셨는데 잘 치시는데. 베레로 First pitch on its way. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off-speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. Now a swing and a miss on the fastball, and the leadoff man is set down here for the first out of the evening. Wheels and deals, here's the first pitch. And it's fouled away. Temperature starting to drop as the sun goes down. 56 degrees here at first pitch. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Into the windup and the pitch. The bouncer to the left side. LeMahieu's got it. Yeah, yes, sir. And they will not get it first as he's able to leg out the throw. Oh, Guerrero, what's on the? At the plate, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball, 1-0. and And there he goes towards second. And this one's in the dirt. And costly as the runner will move into scoring position now. One and two now. Hey, without question, he got him leaning out over right there. Four pitches away, I'd be diving out over the plate as well. And then he dominates him on the inside corner. Nice pitch. And there are two away now. Coming forward now, the Toronto designated hitter, Corey Dickerson, runner in scoring position with Sugan. First pitch of the A.B. now. With the runner on third, two outs, base open, and a good hit at the plate, you have to be smart and not give in. If you walk this guy, so what? It's a lot worse if you give him a ball that he can hurt you on. The 1-1. One, one. Here's a bouncing ball headed to LeMahieu at second. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. It'll lead things off. 아, 씨, 에이스인가 봐, 마흔. 아, 바로. 오, 위, 하나 팔고. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. Hernandez is over near the stands as he makes the catch for the first down. Here's big Aaron Judge. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. 
Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. Bichette gathers it in. Fro gets him two down. Next to hit is Giancarlo Stanton looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Great job by the pitcher right there to pull the string. He knew he had an aggressive hitter at the plate, so he was sitting on fastball ready to do damage. And he was able to slow him down right there and get him off balance. Nope. Get the low outside corner there. It's one and two. Well, that's a pitch right there. You gotta just lay off. There's a good chance he's going. Uh, we'll have to press pause. Is that strike three to retire the side? Striding in is Marcus Semyon, as it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second inning. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Some guys are great low ball hitters, but most guys, especially guys with pop like this, they're hunting for the ball belt high and above. So that was a nicely spotted fastball down in the zone. And here's a slider strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Up next, Lourdes Guriel. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. A ball and a strike. Hey guys, that fastball just registered 97 miles an hour on a night like tonight where it's super cold out. If you don't get to head to that baseball right there and you get jammed, it's almost like getting stung by a pack of wasps. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off-speed pitch in the dirt. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Heading out towards shallow right. Gallo will come in a bit and put it away for the second out of the inning. Next to bat for Toronto, Reese McGuire. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Stanton gets under it and makes the catch to end the. Last half of the second set to go, and striding forward, the designated hitter, Luke Voigt. The designated hitter, Luke. Four. Nice, Taeyong. Yeah, so he goes after the first pitch he sees, and he's on to open up the inning. Yeah, he's getting there. Nice job. Ah, he's getting there. So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo. So he'll take a look at the pitch to ah, lose ball one. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. Gallo is simply an all-around great defensive outfielder. Not only does he have great range and great hands, he's also got a plus arm, one that base runners and base coaches certainly have to be mindful of. Absolutely. When you are in the meeting room preparing for this guy, it is the first thing that jumps off the page. Do not take the extra base. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. And the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. And that'll bring up Gary Sanchez. Here's the first pitch to him. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. 1-1. One, one.
He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. And Springer will tuck this one in to retire the side. Ball set for the start of the inning. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, George Springer. First pitch coming. Here it is. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off speed stuff. Fouled off. And there. Oh, kind of. Line drive, and that's a base hit we're in the center field. Just, uh, With that, the Jays put their leadoff man on to start the inning. Kevin Biggio stepping up now, and they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding his own. Two balls and a strike now. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. It's the top I of the zone. He struck him out looking. Next up, Bo Bichette. 0 for 1 here in the early going. First offering. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. Now it's 2 and 0. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Now the 3 and 0 offering. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ah, first and second now with one away. So now here is Teoscar Hernandez looking to put them ahead early with this at bat. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. First delivery to him. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. Cold strike at the knees, one and one. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Ooh, so two one two away, and that brings up the big bat of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And this pitch is not get extended at all. That's strike one. In a big spot like this, you have to be looking for something you can handle. That pitch bunched him up completely, so I think he's trying to do a little bit too much right now. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw on to first is in time. Ah, the Toronto rally mm -hmm. goes for not as the. Bottom of the third now, and coming forward now is the shortstop, Gio Urshela. shortstop. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Save, 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 save. Swing there, but did he go around? He did, says Kenny Jansen at first. Strike one. Come on, Nayo. Come the track ah. on the warning track he makes the catch oh my god one out here in the Yankees the third inning man. and that brings in Anthony, Anthony Rizzo wheels Rizzo. and deals here's the first pitch bottom of inning number three nothing nothing our score 
아, 성공하네요. 전화으로 오신다. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. And he'll try and tempt him with one of the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there. Two away. So the bases are empty with two gone now. And that'll bring up DJ LeMayhew. And a ball, one and oh. Well, should be 2-0, but he goes way out of the zone after that one, and it's one, even one, one. one Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. Ton of rotation <laughs> on that ball. You could almost see the red dot from up here. Nasty depth. Here he comes again, 1-2. Bichette picks it up cleanly over to first and that retires the side. So now into the box is Corey Dickerson. He bounced out last time up. And now the first pitch. Swung on and hammer. No doubt about this one. Watch it fly. Adios. Pelota. 몰렸어요. 몰렸어요. 실수다. 실수. Hey, I know we're not sitting up here with a crystal ball, but that swing right there, although in the middle innings, could be the deciding factor, and we could be looking back at this one when it's all said and done. Ah, it's done. Ah, 48th inning, how did we get this wrong? Into the box, Marcus Semien. Popped him up. Rizzo ranging into the outfield. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Stepping in once again is Lourdes Gurriel. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Gurriel, an imposing right handed figure at six foot four inches tall. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. Line hard to center field, and he will make the play out there. There are two away now. But the shoot on us was touching it, touching it. All touching it. Reese McGuire over one for him here in this one. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Now the pitch. And ah, look out. you know. Fastball ran in and got him. Ouch, bang. Two down with a runner at first, and former World Series MVP George Springer bats next. Ball one. Love the fact that he's not scared to go right back inside with another fastball. I know he hit the last guy, but if he's going to have success, he's got to establish that pitch in. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away, as that'll be scored a wild pitch. McGuire at second with two down. Now a half swing here as he wanted to pull it back, but he does so too late. It's strike one. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. So next to bat will be Kevin Biggio. First time up, he went down looking. Now time is called as both guys in the bullpen are ready to go. Zach Britton answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Start to loosen up in the on deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. Here's the first pitch to him. And here's a pitch inside. And that got him. 
So the lineup flips over and digging in. Bo Bichette. It was a walk in his last trip. No balls and a strike to count. The 0 1 offering. Goodness. 0 and 2 now. Usually you see chases outside the zone on off speed stuff like sliders, breaking balls, and changes. But we'll leave it right there as he strikes out. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Miguel Andujar. First pitch on its way. Fouled away. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Swing and a miss, and he needs a little discipline here. 0 and 2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. I just saw. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. Trying to check his swing there, but did he go around? He did, says Kenny Jansen at first. Strike one. Here's the 0-1. In there at the knees, 0-2 now. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. The 1-2. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Yahoo! And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one. Mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. And he takes strike three ah, on the fastball, one gone. So Good throw, yeah. He was cut down at second, attempting to stretch a base hit his first time through. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. The Shets got it. In time to first, and there are two away. Here's Joey Gallo now, right looking field. to put the ball in Joey. play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Yeah, but it was a good change-up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Oh, Look him. for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. The 2-2. Two -two. He's right oh. there. And he is out on the tag. Into the box, to Oscar Hernandez struck out in his last trip to the plate. First pitch of the A-B now. And that's cut on and missed 0-1. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Easy take there on the sinker well off the outside. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. Nice. <laughs> Into the box now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. And there's ball one. The 
one one he's outside for a ball use the slide step there Danny yeah he's clearly thinking about the steal right here didn't happen but the cat mouse game continues on and he fouls this one off Hernandez gets his lead at first nobody out skied into straightaway right Gallo is there and he gets the catch for the <laughs> 안돼요 투수 없어 오랑이 브리튼 좋아 브리튼으로 이번해 마 이번해까지 막아야 돼요 지금 게리콜 등판 시킬 예정이에요 어제 막 경기라 세베리노가 개인적으로 좀 별로라 잘 패전용으로 썼거든요. 그러면 괜찮아요. 모든 걸 던졌어. 에리콜. 이렇게 싱커를 잘 못치시네. 팀원님이 볼을 좀 많이 던지시는 스타일이에요. 아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아
So a runner in scoring the position back. with two men the gone. And that will bring in DJ LeMayhew. LeMayhew. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. And that's in there. Base hit. Urshela ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. Trust him to what the Chance it even with two outs. Julian Merriweather trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot. And boy. With two on and two away. Here's Miguel Andohar now. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Ready with the 1 1. Ah, you get run there. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, God ah. that'll do it. The end is over. <laughs> ah, you want to strike it on At the plate nice. now, ah. Lourdes Guriel. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. You gotta love guys auto taking you oh oh if you're on the mound. You could steal that first strike and now you go to work just picking apart the corners. Count now a ball and a strike. Swing and a little blooper to center. In comes Judge. Guys, stop. Imagine that. She wouldn't have. Imagine Antaya. Gerard Dyson will come on now and pinch run here. To the plate now, Reese McGuire. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Last time up, he was hit by a pitch. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Dyson off for second. Pitch inside the throw. Ah, para da para lá. Well behind the play. That's an easy nice, stolen nice. base. Dyson leads off second with nobody out. Shows bun here, but this one misses. Ball three. George Springer, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. Try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. Three two pitch. Here's a bouncing ball headed to LeMayhew at second. And a good throw gets him one gone. Next, here is George Springer trying to bring in the tying run from third here. Full sets. First pitch on the way. The offensive approach here is simple. You know the pitcher's going for the K, so set your sights middle of the plate. And then don't worry about the end. I don't want to do this, so close, hard contact is a guaranteed ribby. A pause and the 0-2. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. Up with it, Sanchez. And the throw. Yeah, you get him with that. <laughs> da da. Randall Gritchick at the plate now. Randall. Ah, you get First pitch on its way. Game will have to do it. You have to do it. And it's fouled away. You get to do it. One strike now from Cole. Now a change up in on the hands that evens it at one and one. This is in the air to left. On the move is Stanton. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. In now, Bo Bichette. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. 
strike two swinging just out in front of the slider on 0 2 here he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit he's got a base open so he has to focus and hold on there that's not going to get him in there with the stolen base from the stretch the one two two runs six hits and no errors in the game for Toronto chopped weakly to the left. Swing and a flat. Yeah, 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 Now at the plate, Aaron Judge. And he's coming off a two run homer his last time around. First pitch of the AB now. As he tries to go out and get the slider, but it's not there. It's strike one. Behind 0 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. That was a nasty sweeping slider right there. If he was able to just catch the corner a little bit, he would have picked up that backwards K. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. I see, I see. Giancarlo Stanton now, and he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. A ball and no strikes. And he'll try to check his swing here, but he'll have no such luck. It's strike one. The 1-1. One, one. couple strikeouts early in the game but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count on a good pitch there ah, had him stretching to get out there and it's two and two now he's staring a hat trick in the face right now after that swing he has just got to find a way to zone up a little bit more you cannot expect to make solid contact chasing stuff outside the zone three two pitch Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Striding forward now is the DH. Luke Voigt. He's one for two in the ball game. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against him. On a grade school swing there, it's one and one. Now here it comes. Fouled off. Three twos are scored here in inning number six. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Three balls and two strikes to the Yankees' DH. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's near. Through and oh. right past him, a swing and a miss at the. 
seventh inning ready to roll and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. settles in at the plate. Swing and a miss 0 and 1. This is why you pay the price of admission right here. Power on power. My money's on the pitcher. A swinging strike and now it's 0 and 2. Go to that well one more time. He's been late on the first two. Swing and a miss on the slider and that's out number one. Next okay. it'll be Corey Dickerson. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. First pitch hack in here and that's the first strike. Very tight ball game. Three to two our score in inning number seven. And Dickerson behind 0 and 2 now. Sent on the ground out to second. LeMayhew's got it. Throw in time at first for route number two. And now here is Marcus Simeon. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks. And even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. Bases are empty here with two men out. Started to go around, but it's a call. Third. Last half of the seventh here. And Hello. that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Joey Gallo. Down by one. I'm interested to see how they approach this as an offense, especially if they get someone on base early in the inning. Some teams, you know, they're going to try and manufacture that run, just trying to get that one run across. Others, they're going to look for one or two big swings to make it happen. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Counts even two and two to Joey Gallo. Here now the two two. He's at the knees. Ah, two Ah. Next to dig in. Gary Sanchez. He went down on strikes last time up. First pitch on its way. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. Three and oh now. No surprise here that they're working around this big boy. Certainly not going to let this guy tie the game up with something fat out over the heart of the plate. Taking all the way. Yeah, you get to us though. Ah. Into the windup and the pitch. Three and two. Two runs, four hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. He takes strike ah. three on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger and ah. two away. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. Two ah, outs already on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. Change up too low, and it's one and oh. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Now the one and one pitch. Wow, that's four straight days. He's knocking them down. He's looking for number five right here. You can tell this guy on the mound, he is pitching I with a whole lot of confidence in this one. And that finds its way through for a base hit. He'll get it into second. Adam Simber takes over pitching duties, looking to get that final now here in this seventh oh, inning. 느리네. 8, 6, 7. 얘 뭐야?
Four foul balls in this AB. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. And he fouls this one off. The 2 2 one more time. And it's fouled away. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Now with the plate is Santiago Espinal. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Popped up. Rizzo in foul ground. He's got it one away. Next, it'll be Reese McGuire. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First pitch on its way. Fly ball right down the line. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. George Springer the next to hit. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. First pitch of the AB on its way. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. Fouled off. Here's another one, too. This one, everything we could have hoped for. Three to two in inning number eight. Fouled away. Yeah, you look at the did a good job just to make contact. And a full count to George Springer. It's three and two. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. Two two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. And that'll get down for a two out single. Two out success means Randall Gritchick will bat this inning. Now time is called as both guys in the bullpen are ready to go. Clay Holmes enters the ball game out of the pen looking for the final out here in the top of inning number eight. Here's Randall Gritchick. And he popped him up. Rizzo trying to get there. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. The 0 1 pitch. Taking off is Springer. Pitch outside the throw. And no throw, in fact, as he'll just hang on to it. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. 
Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And set to go is the Here second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew, the second from baseman. the stretch. D.J. LeMayhew. Hey, boy, yeah. A one pitch on its way. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself. And it's ruled strike two. Swung on and missed. Ah, really fooled that time for the first out. Digging in now for the Yankees, Miguel Andujar. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. One ball, no strikes to count. 1 0 count, here it is. Guerrero is over and he tucks it away for the second out. Stepping in next. 아 계속 던지지 맞음 넘어가는데. Aaron Judge he grounded out last time up. Jordan. 로마노. 아. 팔. 그리고 팔. Enters here looking to get the final out before the ninth inning. 그 사이드 하나 더. Now the first pitch. And this is taken outside for ball one. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, one and one. That's not really where you want to miss right there. I know this guy has got power stuff, but you can't live in the middle of the plate against this lineup and expect to have success. Here comes the one, two. And he comes back ah, with the fastball. Ah, <laughs> New inning set to get underway. In the man. Max, the legacy, Bo Bichette. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself. And it's ruled strike two. Blue Jays shortstop with a one and two count. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. So the next to bat will be to Oscar Hernandez. He's two for four in this one. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. Too much bite on the sinker, and he's behind 2-0 and now. Holmes is exactly what you want out of a bullpen arm. It's a rare occasion that anyone squares him up. He doesn't give up a lot of hits, and when he does, they're almost always kept in the yard. Matty V, there are two keys to being a good relief pitcher, and always remember these. One, limit the base on balls. Two, keep the ball in the ballpark. You can't defend a walk, and you can't defend a round tripper, and he does both. 2-2 two -two pitch is fouled away. Into the windup and the pitch. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Hit hard up the middle. Gloved by LeMahieu. And there's out number two. So stepping in is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. First pitch is a sinker for a called strike one. Slider and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. I'm sure every pitcher on the staff could use an extra run right here. I know the bases are empty and there's two outs, but stay on the attack. Yeah, you want to have a cool duo? You never know. Ah, you want to have Runner at first following the error. And digging in is the veteran DH, Corey Dickerson. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Comes set with the 0-1. A lot of pitches away here, which is pretty much what you're forced to do with lefty batters here at Yankee Stadium. It doesn't take much to hook one out of here to right field with that short porch out there. Guerrero leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. 
fastball, then this one runs in on him as he has to dance out of danger there. He went deep earlier, so that might have been a little bit of a message they were trying to send to get him off the plate. At the very least, they're clearly trying to get him from getting his arms extended again. He's too good. He's set. Here's the 2 2. You know, taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get in auto swing mode. You still have to control the strike zone. Again, he sends it out of play. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Judge is on Daddy. his horse. And a long run, but he's there to track it down. Now, I must go. The bottom of the ninth. And next, it'll be the outfielder, Giancarlo Stanton. In there, strike one. Hey, love the pitcher attacking the zone right here. He knows he's got a patient hitter at the plate. Might as well steal that first strike. And that misses one and one. And he'll take ah, he a look at the strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. And he fouls this one off. Another one-two delivery. And it's fouled away. Now another one two and he'll strike ah. out here yet again as it's been a ball game to forget thus far four strikeouts. Yeah, the Next will be the cleanup hitter Luke Voigt. He struck out swinging yeah. in his last <laughs> trip to the plate. Kirby Yates comes on here looking to get the final two outs and earn the save. Mm, fooled him with that one as he's way out in front. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. <sighs> and now a slider. Ah, do it, Russell. Third strike, and there are two gone now. So now to the plate, Joey Gallo trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. Ball one to start the at bat. And that'll make him one for four in this one. So that two out success means Gary Sanchez will get to hit here. Now back, catcher, Gary. Tyler Wade will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. Stepping in now, Gary Sanchez. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Ready with the 0-1. A pitch out. The ah, thought about going for second, but instead, now they've got him in a pickle. <laughs> hey, nice, dude. Pretty tightly played game. Got a little bit of everything in this one. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching, and defense in certain spots. This one was a fun one to watch. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. The Toronto Blue Jays wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Julian Merriweather is credited with the win. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. I shot that, I shot that. line score tonight. First one.